Nice. You know, we are going to get a little bit more warm. And we're going to decrease those winds tomorrow. I do have the temperatures pretty similar to what we saw for today. So we hit 52 degrees, nine degrees below normal for this time of year. But our morning low, not too far off from the average, which is in the mid 40s. We're actually a few degrees above that. So not too bad of a day. But yes, it was a little bit chilly. Check out the streamlines here. They're coming out of the north and they've been doing so since yesterday. That's because of that system off to the south and east, that nor'easter that's been tracking just off the coast, affecting us so much. I know that middle of the day high tide impacted my drive around the seven cities earlier today. Speaking of 45 in Hampton, 47 Virginia Beach, 46 in Portsmouth, also 48 degrees right now in Elizabeth City and 45 for our neighbors in Watchapree. Satellite and radar does show that we had a few clouds out there. It's not picking up on the clouds overhead that are there now. And also we had some light showers not picking up on that either. But check this out. This is a look at downtown Norfolk right now from our camera on top of 13 News now. Nice little foggy, misty conditions going on out there. So visibility might be impeded just a little bit. We still have those breezy winds at 22, 48 degrees right now, and the sensor picking up some raindrops there over in Norfolk. So same winds right now, 22 in Norfolk. We just saw that wind of 14 in Currituck. Of course, these are gusting even higher. Wind of 31 and in Duck right now, 15 at for Virginia Beach and also 15 miles per hour in Hampton. We still do have some coastal flood alerts. I just updated our web story on 13newsnow.com with this graphic. Everyone now under a coastal flood advisory. There are no more warnings in our coverage area. I'll have to head up to Delaware to see some of those coastal flood warnings, but still continuing to watch the tides at Sewell's Point. Next one coming in just about a couple of hours around 1 a.m. Minor flooding expected there. Also minor flooding expected for the 1 p.m. tidal flood or high tide at Sewell's Point. Cloudy breezy with some mist possible, also some foggy conditions as the kids are heading to school. Maybe an isolated shower, still sticking with those breezy winds. Heading home, we're going to see those temperatures still near 50 degrees. Clouds with less wind as we move through the night tomorrow. Chance for showers. Check this out on Futurecast. Starting it off at midday, we're still dry with those clouds still locked in. Sunshine, short supply for at least one more day. We'll look at that seven day in just a second. By 4 p.m. We're starting to see those showers pushing in from the south and west moving into the area as we go through rush hour. So could impact your commute heading home from work, heading home from school, maybe heading to an after school activity, something like that. We could have some rain showers through the evening hours, eventually becoming scattered to isolated, moving out of the area as we head into the day on Tuesday. Now I'm watching the tropics. It's been quiet for the past couple of weeks, but with the latest update that came in at 7 p.m. Now a medium chance of developing into our next storm within the next two days, 50% if you go toward the next five days, but we are anticipating this to get eaten up by a coastal system. So not really too concerned about what that's going to do for us here, but certainly something to keep an eye on. Hurricane season officially goes until the end of the month, but as we head toward the middle part and end of the month here on the seven day forecast, we're seeing a warming trend that I know Jacqueline Lee likes <laughs> temperatures getting back into the 60s by Wednesday with you know what some sunshine. You know, it's not fun when the wind is just smacking you in the face, making your no. eyes water with the... No, cold. and I had my hood on yesterday, and it, like, got in the hood, so my whole yeah. head was like... <laughs> no. Well, we don't have to deal with that for too long, right?